Welcome, your low life selves, to the new Aztec's pasture. Well, oh, scratch that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Moose Ninety. I am a fine businessman who likes to do things not affiliated at all with the mob. Hey, no, scratch that. Welcome to my new business, CD Incorporated, where the FBI isn't right around the corner. I, I, I can't do it. I, I, I need a break. I need water or something. Get the set fixed. I don't feel comfortable. Johnny, take out the guys outside. They're eyeing us, and they're getting a little too close, see? A bunch of idiots, see? Think that just because we now own a new business, see? That we can just do whatever we want, see? I mean, sure, it says totally clean. 100% scam free. But does anyone really believe it? Do you believe it, Montague? Where where in the world is Montague? Hmm. If we're going to take over the VSA, this empire is going to be needing to get a lot bigger around here, see? We can't have Mr. Trisket and Mr. Mob Mix running around. I want this town and I want it quick. It's being abandoned and it's dying real fast. It's a perfect time for a perfectly honest businessman like myself to swoop in and take everything by force, if necessary, that is. Ah, the wonderful world of Athos. Y'all thought it was dead. No, I'm gonna try and keep these episodes regular. Uh, set it for a while now, but now that I everyone's back in school, I have a lot of time to myself, so I can start working on cool projects. Anyway, guys, welcome back to some more of Vathos SM Wow. Good job, Chetto. Not as derpy as I thought it would look. Needs a, uh, a crowning piece on top, but uh, it's looking good. Cool. <laughs> People have been doing stuff. Uh, yeah, guys, welcome back. That intro. Mysterious, mysterious. Might lead up to events, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, what? What intro? What are you looking at? But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the VSA is over here. Barricaded. I'm with the VSA. VSA sucks. I mean... I mean, it does. Monitor and defend Vathos. Hmm. When it's Montague, when it's Moose Nine is down, there won't be anything left to defend. <laughs> I'm very bad at role play. So very bad. But uh, yeah, guys, we're back. Another video. Another Vathos episode. At a long last. And today. We have, we have, we have some things to do. Some things to do, some things to see. Hello, you have fire protection, don't you? Yeah, you do. So, uh, today, I'm going with a new theme, right? Uh, I was building the book of, the Bank of Athos, and of course I'm going to keep on with that. Uh, I haven't started on the building phase yet, but I have, I actually have a creative world with some, you might have seen it in a video. It has some preconceptual stuff laid out right now. Uh, some things that I'm thinking about doing. Let's get a few more of these. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we have some. We have the entrance done, and then the inside's gonna be really easy. Just a big long hall with you know pillars and desks and stuff and uh, different trading outposts. It's gonna be sort of like a stock market. Like this is for. I don't know exactly what this is. I think it's a... I have no idea. I think Chetto said it was like a trading outpost or something where people could trade goods. This is going to be like that on a bigger level. Like, you know, you guys know how, to, how the stock market works. People can buy and sell shares. We might even... <laughs> if I have enough time on my hands, which I very well might, uh, I could even make an entire stock program thing, which might be cool. Uh, assessing the value of everything and how it would work in to a stock market, but anyway, uh, the Bank of Athos, very big project, I knew that when I was taking it on, and uh, luckily this time, now that we actually know what we're doing when we take it on, welcome to to Ender South, population 1.5, uh, now that we know what we're doing, should be able to be a bit easier, 
So anyway, we're down here in the Undersouth. A chicken that is part of the population. But we're lighting it up. This was a grimy town. A lot of crime. But organized crime needs to be organized, see? And the way it's going right now, it is barely even working. See? Where does this lead to? Hmm. I see an associate has some access to my new establishment, see? Well, that's just not acceptable. It would be a shame if this giant hunk of wood somehow set alight. I'm kidding! Chetto, I would never do that. That would be the most dick thing I could do. But staying in character is the evil supervillain that I am. Moose90. Dumbest name ever. But we're gonna go through and light the Undersouth. I have an interesting idea. It's based on a roleplay, or a roleplay skit kind of thing that I wrote that Khan really liked. Everybody actually who heard it really liked. So I, I think that we're gonna try it out. Hello, do you mind? You're kind of draining my armor, friend. But uh, it, it, it has a little bit to do with mobs, so... I'm trying to get into character, and I might, I might build up the Undersouth a little bit. Depending on, uh, depending on how the skit and character evolution go. But, I think, you know, there's obviously Mr. Trisket, the sea southerner from down south, who wants to get his hands on all that seed. And then there's obviously Mr. Mumbex, who... Just, he's an organized crime, but he, he deals with machines. He doesn't deal with people. Now see, I'm a real nice businessman, like, a nice mix. The southern hospitality, but the brutal cutthroatness of my mex's northern ways. Northern business. <laughs> the stereotypes are real. But, uh... Gotta go through here and light everything up. I have a cool idea for the Undersouth. And as I am now a crime boss. Holy Bowie. Thank you, Creeper. I I think that I can claim some land, right? We're all entitled to claiming land. Going to war over territory. If they are so obliged to wage war against such a opposable opponent. Yes, Mr. Solid Brick Studio. I think I might want to be doing some business with him. As he himself is a pretty good businessman. Anyway, <laughs> enough of the vague mob stuff. I just wanted to light this place up really quick. As, uh, just to make sure that some mob spawning is kept down a little bit more. Because at the moment, it's really, really, really annoying trying to build down here. So I hope that you guys don't mind too much. I know it's supposed to be this dank, weird place, but... We've built it up a good amount, you know, the, uh, the Undersouth is plenty large, plenty plentiful, so, anyway, we have some projects to work on today, guys, uh, it's not gonna be a particularly long video, but I have a few things that I wanna show you guys, and, uh, a little update, I want you guys to vote down in the description what times work best for you, oh my goodness, this is not going to be good. You see, you can let a creeper fall down and destroy the auction board, but you cannot do so and not fix it. Anyway, I want you guys to tell me what time you are best for for a live stream, because I really want to start live streaming uh, work on the bank, because that's going to take a long, long time. and. Uh, I don't want to do it by myself. I want to do a live stream so that I at least have someone to talk to during the entire thing because that's going to take a buttload of time and effort. And uh, I would love to have a video archive of what I do and how I do it because there's quite a bit of design that goes into it. So anyway, uh, if you guys could just tell me in the description what times work best for you, that would be great. 
Now, if we're gonna be running this town, then we can't have any competitors. And the only two that we really have to worry about are the resourceful and technological Mr. Mommix, with all of his farms and his super base of amazingness, and Mr. Trisket with his seed. So, I'm gonna give him a very clear message that this is my town. And who knows, maybe they'll join me. Or maybe they're foolish or stupid enough to try and resist my new rule. I'll tell you though, it'll be hard competing with Khan in the crime world. He's got quite the organism. Who comes along and just takes a- I swear it's Yosh. I swear it's Jeremy, because he just- Oh yeah, let me just come down and knock out all these things on my way down. He's so freaking derpy, he doesn't really- He doesn't even realize how derpy he is. But he is, he's so, so freaking derpy, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. freaking leaveable. Quite the spider eye thing, though. I don't know which is more intimidating. Triscuit's amazing seed factories, or Khan's deadly spider eyes. Oh, well, that's cute. He still has my my armor that I left. That is one big tree. Hmm. <laughs> he needs to upload that video. Whew. <laughs> Trying to think of what to do here, guys, because. What in the world? Try and follow through on my thought because, um, a mob war? What in the heck is that? <laughs> um, I can only expect that this is Jeremy's doing. No one else is this hopelessly derp. Except maybe me. Hmm. It's definitely Jeremy. Only Jeremy would use this much glowstone on a farm that produces about eight pieces of bread. He has silk touch. BS cave. Yep, this looks like his doing. You know what? To anybody watching? If there ever is a mob war, you can have Jeremy. I don't care who else you get, you can have Jeremy. I don't want him. Well, here we are. Biscuit's estate. Unfortunately, inside it's guarded by many guards. His guardians. Hmm. Outside it seems relatively unprotected. Might lay some sort of trap. Well, step one is complete. Case your enemies. See their defenses. Visit all their bases. And now that I know everything about them, it's time to prepare myself as well. I'm being a little over dramatic. Nothing's actually gonna happen. I seriously doubt anything will. But, you know, role playing is fun. I don't know what it is. It's beautiful. Hello, my slow friend. You can't catch up with me. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> well, unfortunately, sorry that this didn't pan out too much, guys. But you may not have seen a lot. You may have just seen me talking to myself and brooding in the background. But I have plans. I have large plans for Vathos. Because everyone's bored of it. Everyone's like, ugh. Building. And more building. Cool. Yeah, if I wanted to just see people build and be boring about it, I would play Minecraft myself. But I assure you, my friends. I have better plans than that. Vathos will not be boring for very long. I'll see you all in the next episode. 
thank you very much for watching. And until then, Lomonandi, out.